Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to... I don't know what that was. Welcome back to another episode. All right, so, elephant in the room. I have not made a video in, like, three weeks. It has been quite some time. Again, that is not through... I, I mentioned this on my other channel, but that's not through lack of, you know, trying or anything. Genuinely, for this channel, I just don't know which direction to take it. And I just don't know what videos to make for it. Being truthfully honest, I'm just, I'm struggling for ideas of videos to make. I did want to obviously focus on one thing other than, you know, constantly making videos about like a bunch of different stuff. And it got to the point where I just didn't know what to do and I didn't know what videos I wanted to make because making a bunch of random videos about loads of different subjects, it's really hard for people to want to watch your channel because they don't know, unless they're coming back for you specifically because they're like you as a person they're not going to come back. So I did want to do it is so I was going to focus on MMORPGs but I'm struggling to figure like the to, to find videos to make if I'm being truthfully honest with you. Plus I was down Middlesbrough doing a performance. So I've been rehearsing for that and I did the performance last week. It went well. So uh yeah, that's main the main reason I haven't been making videos is purely because of that. Um yeah, that is all. That's all I want to say. I just wanted to quickly get that out of the way so we could actually start this video. But the main part of this video is the fact that I wanted to make a video on my personal favorite MMORPG. What is it? Why do I like it? Why should you like it? It is, drum roll please. I, I don't know what that was. RuneScape. More specifically, old school RuneScape. It comes as no surprise to people that know me. I absolutely love RuneScape. I've played RuneScape from the tender age of like eight, nine or something like that. When I was really young, I found I discovered it on holiday. Some person that I found on holiday was like, you ever heard of RuneScape before? I was like, no. And I basically played it ever since. Fell off it once it started getting to, you know, uh, pre-EOC, you know, RuneScape 3. I kind of fell off it a little bit. But then 2013 arrives. They're bringing out old school RuneScape, so of course you know for well I had to play it. And they've just progressed it even further and it's just gotten better and better and better, in my personal humble opinion. So why do I like it? I don't know, I just think it's great. I I like grindy games because there's always something to do in it and RuneScape is probably one of the grindiest games you could possibly think of there is so much content to do there's like 27 or so skills that you have to get level 99 and if you want to take it even further after 99 you can get them all 200 exp 200 million experience which will max out the skill that's like you can't get any more experience after that in the skill it doesn't do anything for you other than you can just flex and be like yeah look at me i've i have no life <laughs> Um, so yeah, the skills, there's so many skills to do. There is a collection log to do to collect all different items from bosses, from, you know, mobs, from everything. Basically, mini games. There's uh, combat achievements that have just not long brought out where, you know, you have to kill certain bosses and certain requirements and certain times and certain... I don't think I was going to say certain armor, but I don't think there's a specific armor you have to defeat anyone in. There's like the Barrows Brothers, for example, that's a boss. It's like, kill them without using prayer and take no damage, things like that. They've got achievement diaries, they've got the quest cape, they've got... And there's just so much, there's like a billion bosses and they're bringing out more. They've now got Raids 1, Raids 2 in come August, Raids 3 is coming out. There's, there's just so much content, which I love. Plus, with normal MMORPGs, you create multiple characters. So normally you have a main character, which is like, for, for me example, I always play a mage character. So for World of Warcraft, a frost mage was my main. For Lost Ark, the sorceress was my main. But then you have to create other alt characters, because once you've done all of the stuff you can do on that character, you know, you've done like, for, ex for example, Lost Ark, you do like two um, guardian raids per day, two chaos dungeons per day, and then one weekly raid or weekly dungeon. And then that's pretty much it for that character. Of course, you can do other stuff, but yeah. And then you've got your other alt, and then you do them, and then your other alt, and your other alt, and you feed them all the other characters, so then you can get them levels up, so on and so forth. But for RuneScape, it's literally just you this one character, 
all skills, magic, range, uh, melee, prey, hunter, slayer, construction, you name it. Everything's on that one character. So you don't have to keep, you have to grind your ass off to actually progress in it. But at the end of the day, you know full well, you're not going to be like, oh, right, I've just got level 83 hunter on this character. Now I have to go into this character and I have to create another one and get a level 83 on that one. You don't have to do that because it's just this one character. But there are different modes that you can play on. So you've got your normal main account. Then you've got an Iron Man account, which is the exact same, except you're all completely self-sustained, so you can't buy stuff from other characters. Also, uh, you can't boss with other people or do anything. It's literally just your account. Everything has to happen uh, by you. You can't pay anyone or do anything, which I love. And Iron Man is my favorite account because a main, I just don't see the point in stuff like fishing and stuff like... Um, like mining, smithing, all that kind of stuff just seems completely pointless unless you wanted to max them out and get them at 99 because you can just buy all the materials you need from other characters, uh, from other players. So you can literally just do all your melee stuff, do all your slayer stuff to get a bunch of money and then you just buy the stuff for smithing and stuff like that. Again, if you wanted to obviously get your mining up and get your smithing up, uh, get your fishing up for the purpose of doing that, then obviously you can. But... I've always seen, it's always just seemed pointless to me. But any man account, you can't do that. So it's great. Like, I absolutely love it. it. It gives me an excuse to actually have to grind out a certain mining level to get ore. Or have to go out and do fishing so I can have food. Because I can't buy it from, from the Grand Exchange or anything. Like that. I just absolutely love it. I really do. Hello, so Brian from the future here. <laughs> Clearly, I got a little bit too excited talking about just normal Iron Man account that I completely brushed over all the different gameplays that you get in an uh, in old school RuneScape. So on top of Iron Man, you also get Hardcore Iron Man, which are basically the exact same, except you only have one life. But when you die, you just revert to an Iron Man. It's not like uh, it's not like in Minecraft where if you die in Hardcore, that's it. The game's over, done with. You literally just revert back to an Iron Man. So you're on a different scoreboard and everything. Um, and you also get group Iron Man as well. So basically, it's the exact same as an Iron Man account, except you can have a group of up to, I think, five people. And they can trade between each other, but they can't trade other people. So you can all boss together with your friends of up to five people, or with random strangers if you if you so feel inclined like you don't have friends to play with like I do because nobody plays RuneScape that I know which is super sad but uh yeah so you get group Iron Man which is really good of course with that you get group hardcore Iron Man which again is the exact same thing and then you get ultimate Iron Man ultimate Iron Man not something I would enjoy it's basically you can't bank anything you, you you can't use a bank which is a really important thing in runescape obviously once you've got a bunch of stuff you just bank it and then you get it whenever you want ultimate amen can't do that super difficult and i respect anyone who plays that game because i would not have the patience but yeah clearly i went on a bit of a tangent and completely forgot about the other game modes but yes back to the video <laughs> and one thing i really love about runescape and i don't know why i just always have loved this aspect of it is the drop system so you've got like a, a one out of 2000 chance of a drop in like a certain rare item or a one out of 516 chance of a drop in a rare item or whatever it may be but i just i don't know what it is it's the satisfaction of just grinding out kill after kill after kill for the chance to like have that item pop up and see it and then you get the collection log and then you know you, you know you, you've now got that and then you can upgrade your stuff it's an incredibly difficult game as well to play. You wouldn't think it because you don't have to use like WASD or click any buttons like you would in World of Warcraft or RuneScape 3 or anything like that to use spells. You literally just click and it uses them for you. But it's the fact that you have to be quick on the draw to like, you know, change your prayers. Like if you're exa if you're fighting Zulra, for example, it fights using all three different abilities. So once it turns blue, you know, you have to quickly... Put your, your magic prey on, then change to your range gear, then attack it and move to the area you need to move to. If it turns green, now you've got to put range on, you've got to put all your magic gear on, you've got to move so you don't take damage. 
it's an actually really different technically difficult game and I love it I love it for that I'm currently like level 110 I've got like level 90 war 90 strength I've got like 87 attack like 85 defense or whatever my range is level 91 and I have yet to get a fire cape for those who don't know, a fire cape is, once you've done it a few times, it's super, super easy. Uh, and to be fair with you, it's still easy. Basically, you have to go through 63 waves of monsters coming in. Uh, some of them attack melee, some of them attack range, some of them drain your prayer, which prayer, by the way, is an extremely important part of the game. And there's a, it gets to a certain wave, I can't remember which wave it is, where you basically have to keep magic on. Because there's a, a creature that keeps attacking you with magic. And it does a crap ton of damage. So if you take magic off, you're basically going to die. So you basically have to keep magic on. Attack the ray. Well, if there's these little phoenix things, they'll, they'll if they hit you, they'll drain your prayer. So basically you have to kill them first. Then you have to kill the rangers so they don't take they don't damage you. Then you have to like lure the, the melee to a place where it can't hit you. But you can still hit it. Then attack the uh, mage. It's super complicated. But it is like, uh, not that difficult of a thing to do, realistically speaking. I should have done it so, like, so long ago, but I just, I'm too scared. I <laughs> don't even know why. Because if I, if I die by Jad, it doesn't matter. I'm not a hardcore Iron Man. And I'll, st I'll get my fire cape, which is the second, well, it used to be the best in slot melee cape. But now the, the infernal cape is, which I'm just never hoping to get. I'm going on a bit of a tangent, but basically, yeah. The, the skill requirement, I think, is quite high to play the game if you want to get good at it. And they, they have like really difficult stuff. They're constantly hosting tournaments. They're constantly hosting different kinds of um, different kind of events. They've got leagues. You've had, we've had three leagues now where, you know, you start from a fresh account, which is linked to your other account, so you don't have to buy a new one. And you've got to do like a bunch of different stuff. And it's really fun and different and interesting. So they're constantly bringing out new stuff, which is really good. Plus... They, the, the company, Jagex, they listen. They listen to you. So basically, instead of like, let's say Blizzard, they release something and nobody likes it. For example, the constant changing of, oh, you've got um, Legion, you've got weapons. You've got artifact weapons, now you have to level up them artifact weapons. Next expansion, completely useless. Here's the Heart of Azeroth. Level that up, put points into it, Next expansion, completely useless. And they keep doing that. And I don't think anyone really likes it. It's a grind for basically nothing for one expansion. But with Blizz uh, with Jagex, sorry, they'll do a poll. They'll be like, oh yeah, we've got a few interesting things. This is what we want to do. We'll pull it. Then if it reaches over, I think it's 70 or 80% of people wanting that thing, then they'll implement it into the game. If it isn't, if it's not popular, they won't bother. Which I think other companies can take a huge, like, note out of their book, the page out of their book. Because if other companies did that, it would, it would be good. Instead of just being like, this is what you're getting, deal with it. People are like, I don't like it. Well, tough. That's what you gotta get. But yeah, I just thought I would let you know, my favourite game will always be Old School RuneScape. I think it's great. It's a grindy game. Crap ton of content. The company actually listens to what the the the, um, the community wants, and honestly, I just I, I couldn't I, I could sit and praise RuneScape all day long. And sometimes it does get to the point where I log on and I've got that many things that I need to do that it gets overwhelming. I'm like I'm just gonna log off real quick, but that's a good thing because it means there's a crap ton of content, but. I would highly recommend anyone to at least give it a try because it is a free game as well. You can play free up till a certain point. They, and then they have a lot of members stuff that is unlocked, which I think it's £10 a month. Uh, and, you know, there's a crap ton more content out there. But there are free to play quests. There's, you know, free to play stuff that you can do to sort of get a feel for the game. And if you like it, then you can buy it, which is good. Most games do that, but yeah. So, Old School RuneScape, would highly recommend anyone to give it a try. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys like Old School RuneScape, by all means, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, comment what your favourite thing is about RuneScape, or if you don't like RuneScape, comment what you don't like about it, 
And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video.